All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another lesson the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Do you know about this Draco? And this is for Jake, right? Because when Jake hear the word Draco, they automatically think of this uh, entertainer who goes by the name of Soldier Boy, which he calls himself Big Draco, right? And also, it's also another slang term used for uh, uh, AK-47, okay? They call it a Draco. But Jake, do you know about this Draco, which is coming, <clears throat> all right? The Draconian Laws. So let's read this real quick. <clears throat> this is, uh, let's see, I think, I wonder if we could play it. Well, let's just get to the, uh, what's, what's highlighted. Well, not what's just highlighted, but uh, this whole uh, little article piece, part of the article says, when a proponent of the JAB mandate, <clears throat> it's a lock, yeah. It says, when a proponent of the JAB mandates told USA Today, opting out has to be the hard choice. When an emergency physician and public professor at George Washington University said the unjed people aren't just risking their own health, they have a high likelihood of transmitting the virus, which endangers vulnerable people, including children who can't yet get the jab and the, M, the immune and the immune, immune, immunocompromised, <clears throat> right? So this is, see, part of the draconian laws that they're going to use they're going to use this to what to take your children because if you don't want to get the jab they're going to say you're not only a threat to society but you're a threat to your own children okay so they're going to use these draco measures to take your children from you if you don't get the jab you see so when brothers when we speaking about these things of you know the hard times uh you're going to be put in a very you're going to be put in straits meaning uh uh, difficulty trouble this is some of the things that we are speaking about okay because you're going to have to make a choice and this is what this thing is coming down to all right i just seen a, a video of a, uh, <clears throat> you know I, I believe to be real that's that's what it looked like there was a restaurant in new york it was a store or a restaurant and uh one of the two and it said uh you know jabbed jabbed up people only you know and it was two edomites two edomites uh a, a man and his uh his, his woman and you know they was making a statements of saying is this greece is this uh you know is this germany is this china is this russia okay because people are not used to being a uh, uh, closing for so long people are not used to being uh uh uh, uh you know uh put under a harsh authority or put in a position where they can't roam around free so to speak right so now E is getting a, e is getting a little bit of glimpse of what Jake had to go through back in the uh, 50s and the 60s and 40s and shit when there used to be water fountains and in certain places you can go uh, or Jake only can go to certain places that had the colored only signs <laughs> now they're getting a glimpse but it's dealing with the, the jab and the unjab now but you know, anyway, so it says multiple experts told USA Today that the virus circulating at high rates among the unjabbed people test the effectiveness of the, the jabs. It also increases the chance that even worse variants of the virus will arise. And what's being pushed heavily through the media is the Delta. OK, and what's happening with the, with the Delta, they're saying as it's as it's rising, you know, uh, uh, there's another place. Uh, another country just went on a fifth lockdown. Uh, certain places are starting to mandate the mask again, you know. So, you know, so these things are coming. It says, when is among experts who say to get the, the jab requirements should be seen as akin to laws against drunk driving and other reckless behavior. So let's go to the word akin, right? Akin, it says, of similar, of similar character, okay, uh, related by blood. Let's, let's go to the etymology, see if we get a better term.
a kin, so uh, related by blood. So that's when the people get that the kin or my kinsmen, Con a contraction of kin, I lead by nature from the 1630s, you know. So when you so basically a kin it says uh, would be something like similar to. So it says when is among experts who say them having you know getting a jab requirements should be seen as a kin to laws against drunk driving and other reckless behavior, you know, and there's harsh penalties, you know, for drunk driving and uh, reckless behaviors. So they're trying to push the same thing with the jab. Of if you don't want to get this jab, well, you gotta you gotta get uh, disciplined harshly. All right. So if I pull into a few scriptures, let's uh, let's also get this word right here. All right. Uh, Draco, right? It says draconian is an adjective meaning of great severity that derives from Draco, an Athenian law scribed under whom small offenses had heavy punishment. So that 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 draconian laws, hey, these these things are coming, okay? And we see it, and we're warning you, we're warning you, and letting you know. So let's get a few scriptures. All right. Let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So this devil know his, his time is over, right? He see the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets, out there preachers and prophesying, you know, standing upon their feet. As an exceedingly great army, as is mentioned in the book of Revelation, I mean, Salak, as it mentioned in the book of Ezekiel, the 30, 37th chapter. Okay. He see brothers and sisters waking up all across the world, you know, a turning from the left hand, turning uh, uh, from you know, wickedness, repenting and calling upon the name of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh So when he sees these things that he tried to prevent for so long, which you couldn't, because it's, it's prophecy. But what she tried to prevent so long by spending billions of dollars on it, okay, through, through education, through media, you know, his, his witchcraft, through imagery, through a, 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 a mental, uh, uh, you know, you know through, through, a, through a, mental, a mental side as well, right? Psych so that's what I meant. So not just physical, psychological treatments, just to, you know, keep Jig down. You know, to keep Jake through. But he's seeing he's but he's but he's seeing this thing. He, he's seeing he's seeing this, this this 360 and you know his shit is almost up. Right? Seeing chariot sightings all across the world. He knows his time is up. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10 it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That what? That ye may be tried. And you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Because hey, this this thing is serious. It says be faithful unto death. Because uh, you, you're going to have you know people of the faith of this walk that are going to be martyrs. That are going to be martyrs. Okay. That are going to be tortured. We read the book of uh, read the story of the Maccabees brothers. Okay. Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter of they was tortured. Okay, why? Because they didn't want to eat the swine. You see? So this devil is about to come in that same spirit as he always has been in. Okay? He's about to come in the same spirit. You got Biden and them talking about, you know, they, they want to, if you're not, uh, if you ain't got the jab by September 2022, you're going to go, you're going to get put in a concentration camp. You see? And they not just talking. See, right now, right now they just talking. But as you see, things are, are starting to move. It's a domino effect. You know, they're waiting for the they're waiting for the right opportunity. They're doing different things, pushing it through the media. Media, and they're setting they're setting the system up. They're setting this whole thing up. So even even everything amongst this, you got a. Uh, we always talking about you know the different wars that's going on. The the, the civil war, the race war. You know what you see heavy going on right now is what the gender wars, okay? And now you going you got the jabbed and the unjab wars because the people that are jabbed are saying, look, you unjab people, you are the 
freaking problem that the world is getting locked down again. You're the you're the you're you're the problem that we can't we can't go travel. Okay, we can't go see our loved ones because of you. And this thing is gonna pop off, man. It's gonna pop off. Do you see how people was acting in a uh 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 acting in the store when people didn't want to want to uh, wear a mask I'm talking about all out full brawls in the store right because a customer didn't want to wear a mask so this 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 thing is it's it's about to turn it's about to get ugly out here man you know different things amongst this draco laws coming right we'll get one more we're gonna close out let's go to the book of uh Second Thessalonians chapter two. All right, because we we always speak about this devil. This devil is not talking about the spiritual demon Satan right here. All right, this is talking about Esau Edom. Let's prove it. it says uh, <clears throat> Second Thessalonians chapter two verse three. It says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except to be a falling away first. And that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, right? And this is going in, on the time of, you know, when the Romans is ruling over us. Okay, this is what this is speaking of. Son of perdition, Esau, Edom. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worship, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. And this is what he does. You know, the world believes that, you know, this, this devil... Is 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 the heavenly is, is God, man? Is the Savior? You know, because they look at it as He is the one that can take life. He is the one that can, uh, you know, make life through His different uh, technology. People that are blind can now see. People that were, uh, 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 you know, uh, people that was uh, lame, which that means can't walk, can can now walk. You see what I'm saying? People that were, uh, you know, uh, deaf can just technology go. Now they can hear different brain chips. So they look at this man as, oh, you know what? He is God. Okay. He, he's the one that can that can save, which we know the only person that can save is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse 5, remember, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time right and his devil is being revealed you know he was revealed in this time as as it was, as, it was, as he was supposed to be right for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way right and he got his time coming to be took out of the way and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. OK, and guess what? He has the comings and working after. He's the one who has the coming. And working after Satan, you know, with all the power, signs, and lying wonders. Hey, this is him. This is Esau Edom. Okay? This is this devil. Okay? So when it's talking about the devil shall cast some of you into prison, this is talk, not talking about the spiritual demon Satan. This is talking about nobody else but Esau Edom. So, Jake, you better wake up because the Draco that you need to know about is this right here draconian it's an adjective meaning of great severity that derives from draco an athenian law scribed under whom small offenses had heavy punishments okay and this is how this devil is going to roll okay this is how he's going to roll okay so this will be a part two lord willing through the spirit as i go into an, another example of draco that took place back then you know Lord, what the hope was that a fine? So next time I want to say, shalom.